Hello, this is Timothy Perfit from Two Canoes Software. I want to show you a new feature of WinClone 8.2 that allows you to inject drivers for the new T2 Max. Um, so let me first show you the problem and then uh, how we're resolving it. So what I have here is a, a T2 Mac Mini. Uh, it could be any T2 Mac. Um, and I have an image that I've created um, here on the desktop, WinClone 10 from old Macs. So this is a non-T2 Mac that doesn't include the Apple SSD driver, so it prevents it from uh, booting up. So let me restore this image. The image has now been restored, and let me reboot. So this is a um, an image that I took from a uh, another Mac that has um, that's not a teacher processor. So let me just restart, and I'll hold down the Option key, um, and then select the new Windows partition, and then we'll see the blue screen. That's the issue that we don't have the SSD driver. All right, there's the blue screen. And you can see that the stop code is inaccessible boot device, um, which is very common if it, uh, you don't have the uh, SSD driver, so Windows starting up can't find the boot device. So now it starts back into Mac OS, and I can show you the um, uh, process with the new version of WinClone, how to resolve this issue. Um, so the first thing we need is a driver to inject into, Win into Windows. And so um, what we do is in uh, go to Bootcamp Assistant, And under action, you can download the Windows support software. I won't do that because uh, it's like a gig or something of uh, drivers, but you can see I, I already downloaded here to this folder. And the driver we're concerned about is in the WinPE under Apple SSD here. And it's called Apple SSD.sys. So we'll open up WinClone again, and there's a new feature. under the tools menu called add Apple SSD driver. When you select that, you can now select the Apple SSD driver, which we have that that's in our support folder in WinPE under Apple SSD here and Apple SSD.sys. Um, and then we select our destination, which is our the WinClone partition that we restored. And you just simply click, uh, you simply click inject driver. And what that does is it injects that SSD driver so now we can start up in Windows and not have that uh, blue screen. All right, that's completed. So let's go ahead and uh, restart once again. And I'll hold down the option key and this time hopefully we'll be successful in booting into Windows. Okay, you can see that it is now um, successfully past the point where it needed that Apple SSD driver and now can boot into Windows. Oh, there we are. We're setting up Windows. Um, so the uh, injection of the driver was successful and now we can go ahead and install the remaining drivers um, using the keyboard and mouse. Um, so uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please click on uh, the like button or subscribe if you want to see more uh, of these types of videos. Um, and we're very excited we're, uh, to get this issue resolved in WinClone and like, make it much easier for folks to migrate from non-T2 to T2 Max. Thank you very much for watching.